Hello guys, today I will show you how you can wire this brushless washing machine motor without capacitor. This brushless washing machine motor needs a capacitor for working because a capacitor sends a signal to the starting coil and motor start rotating. So I have a quick decision for the starting coil without capacitor. I will use this push switch. This is only push switch. Push and contact. So what we need? We need a brushless washing machine motor push switch. I will use a plug. This is a standard Europe plug with three wires brown blue and yellow green i will use a blue cable with terminals and this short blue cable red cable with terminals and black cable with terminals here is all what we need when you click here you can check my playlist with Wearing Diagram. Click here for a standard Wearing Diagram of this motor and many types of motors. This brushless washing machine motor is with a two speed. This here, this two pin here is for a slow speed, washing speed. And this two pin here is for a fast speed for rinds and this single pin here is for capacitor so what we need to do now get a plug first I will start with a brown cable get a red cable with terminals and make a quick connection get a short blue cable I will use uh, isolating tape This is a quick connection for my show. First we have plug and I will connect the brown cable from the plug, this red cable with terminals and the short blue cable. So next one, connect a black cable with terminals to the blue cable. Here we have a plug cable and a blue cable from a plug. I connect a black cable with terminal. The most important step here for your safety is this. I will use this extension cable. So first thing what I need to do is uh, connect uh, these terminals from black and red cable to the pins of the washing machine motor. I want to start up I want to start up a fast speed so I will use this two pin here. I will connect a red cable here and black cable here so the yellow green cable 
you need to connect to the body of the motor this is very important for your safety because when this cable is not connected to the motor when you touch a body maybe you will feel an electric shock so this is a really important cable and you need to connect to the body of the motor i make this quick connection so we have a almost ready connected motor so we now have starting capacitor i have but i want to show you how you can wire this motor without capacitor we need to connect this push button i will connect a blue cable from the brown and and red the blue cable to the switch okay this side is connected now use a blue cable with terminals and you need to put this cable here so we have a connected switch this switch is for a capacitor so put this terminal to the single pin of the washing machine motor now i have a connected washing machine motor without capacitor and this will really work but first thing what i need to do is make a quick i will make a quick isolation of the switch Let me test a motor. I will put a connecting here and when I start you can see not movement. But when you press here for a few seconds You can see the motor is running. Turn off. Start up and you can see a motor not rotate. Press a button for a few seconds. Okay. I will change I will change from fast speed to a slow speed to this to pin here if you want to know how you can wire this washing machine motor with two speed and switches don't forget check this video here let me connect so let let we try let we try a uh, slow speed this is a slow speed the washing speed
You can see I will run this washing machine brushless motor without capacitor only with this pushing switch guys if you like my videos and if you want support me don't forget share like and subscribe and don't forget to hit a bell icon for my future projects notification thank you very much see you soon